Yo, what is good? We're back with another video. Today we're going to be going over how I find my daily bias. If you're not in the free Discord, go join it. It is linked down below. But other than that, let's go into this. So the way I find my daily bias is let's say we have this chart right here. And yeah, we're just going to play this out. So let's say we have this chart right here. This is a four or a one hour chart. So let's say we just took this buy side level and price now. Oh, whoa. Price now had a market structure shift right after taking this low. Let's say we have this imbalance right here in this leg of price. This is how I would be looking to see, are we going to go up to this high or down to this uh, sell side level right here? It's all about this fair value gap for me. So we're on the hourly chart. Price is now trading into this. What I would want to see is a lower time frame five minute or one minute rejection of this. So are we going to come down, maybe take internal here and then come down and take this low? Or are we going to go straight through this and then trade it as an inverse to now go higher? So this is how I am using fair value gaps to find my daily bias. So let's go right into the charts and look at some examples. Looking at this chart right now, we just expanded and closed below this fair value gap this bullish imbalance so now i want to see are we going to trade into this bearish fair value gap to head down to this sell side level this is what i would be confident in if we come up here and reject it so coming down to the 15 minute so now that we're on the 15 minute chart let's play this out a little bit so boom we come up into this 15 or this four hour fair value gap and it looks like we're getting a rejection so now i want to see are we going to get a 15 minute imbalance Boom, we got one. Okay, so now I'm very bearish. Now I really, or I expect to see this low for sure on the 15 minute. But what do I expect on the higher time frame four hour? I expected this low the entire way down here because that higher time frame is holding more power. But whenever you're trading the lower time frames, you want to take the low hanging fruit because price could trade. Uh, up into here and then take that sell side and come back up to re-sweep this high and then come down to this sell side but you want to be taking low hanging fruit on trades you're confident in so right here is what i would be targeting if price comes up here so price takes that low do we ever get filled so right there you get filled to target this low right here and you do get a setup on the one minute i'm sure Oh, you get one down here to target that sell side. I'm not sure if you get there though. No, it actually made equal lows. But right there, that is all it takes to see that we are going to be going to that low on the four hour. Is this four hour fair value gap? So let's go over a few more examples. So right here, we're on the hourly chart and we see we just traded through sell side. And it looks like we're expanding to the upside. And yes, we do have this bearish fair value gap. But... What I would want to see is, are we going to trade into this bullish fair value gap and respect it? And then I would say, okay, this hourly right here is going to turn inverse to send us higher. And what I would be confident in are these equal highs, not sell side. We have buy side. So what I would want to see is price going to come down here, respect it to go higher and then turn this inverse, or are we going to respect this bearish one and turn this bullish one inverse? So let's play it. We're in that. And it looks like we just closed above. No, we did not quite close above it. Playing it out, playing it out. We just revisited and took internal. Yep, by a tick. Here, I would be going to the lower time frame to see for the setups, but this is just to find your daily bias. So as you see, we close above that. And what do we do? What do we do after closing above that before taking this buy side? come down trade this as an inverse to then send us to that high so let's go over a couple more examples all right so for these examples we are going to go in replay mode pick a random spot in the charts boom 8 a.m gonna do this uncut so you guys can see exactly how i'm looking for my daily bias so right here on this day let's go to the daily okay so it looks like the draw is this low so going to the four hour we just respected this fair value gap on the four hour. So yeah, we already took this low. I know it's not on there, but it is what it is. So let's play this. Boom, boom. All right, so now 
and we actually traded up into that fair value gap did we do it before we took it yes so we traded into that fair value gap before we took it what i would do here is go to the one minute chart see the rejection and then take the short down to this low because that's what i'd be confident in and then the external draw so playing this out boom 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 all right so now it's like 12 so let's go to the next day 6 a.m 7 8 all right so looks like we just disrespected all these fair value gaps this is the draw play it out boom we tick we go up and take that that's where i'd go to the one minute chart after hitting this and look for my setup and as you see we trade to that so let's keep going okay so we just ran that where is the draw this low boom we take that let's go to the next day okay so five four seven eight so we just traded into this fair value gap we definitely are about to take this low let's go to the daily chart we have a daily high up or a daily imbalance up there so right now i wouldn't be worried about it let's remove all this i would be looking for this internal low trade through it now we trade out of it play it all right and then we chop go to the next day so now now we have this bearish fair value gap at 10 a.m so what i would want to see is okay let's see are we going to close above this all right so we don't trade up into it the next day nine is right there so right now we're just trading in between i wouldn't even consider this anything i'd be waiting to see more price action yeah trade through this internal low get expansion out and then take this high so let's go to the next day nine we are respecting this bullish fair value gap so what can we expect this high up here this is a low resistance liquidity run boom we take that high so that is when i would scale down whenever we come down into this and then look to take the setup to this high going to the next day 10 just traded into this and it looks like we are respecting it after taking that so i'd be more cautious i wouldn't know for sure if we're going to this high i'd have to scale down so we trade into it right there and we take sell side at this internal low and we just ran this fair value gap so it looks like this should be the draw okay so we disrespect it go to that okay we finally sped up okay so now are we going to respect this fair value gap right here to then trade to these lows go straight to them it is what it is boom come up tap it looks like we're going lower so let's go back down so as you see close below this bullish fair value gap and trade below these whoa that's a big gap four seven eight so we traded into this one hour imbalance boom so we should be heading to this low <clears throat> still respecting expand straight up oh wow we are still in this see wicks are just ripping people apart here okay so now we closed above it now i would expect this high and we create a bullish one so don't get there the next day seven in the morning eight at open we trade into this bearish fair value gap and then we see this low so this is how i'm just this is all i'm doing are we respecting things are we not we should if we respect it like right here we should return to the low so right there we actually took it i didn't know we did but right there we trade into this fair value gap and see the most recent internal low so this is literally all i am doing and then scaling down to the lower time frames to then look for my setups so we have a bullish one hour don't come into it trade into that one respecting it we should go higher and see all these highs 
create another one trade into it looks like we're respecting it respecting it bearish one should close above it if we are going to respect this bullish one all right so now we should see this low 5 a.m oh this is london so actually i wouldn't care but we still see that low after taking buy side oh man all right so we're running these imbalances we should see these equal highs and it's close all right so we just swept internal and now we expanded through this bearish fair value gap and thankfully this is at new york open so we should see these highs yep saw all those highs actually all right so we're in a bullish fair value gap after a gap down i would expect this high yeah we see that high so this is all i'm doing after seeing what one hour is getting traded into so i'd mark a one hour fair value gap and then i'd scale i can't go down to the one minute but i would scale down to the five minute here see displacement higher oh look fair value gap we trade into it and what do we see the most recent high and then we see those external levels so this is exactly how i am framing my daily bias if we have a chart here let's just make this all messy All right, so let's say we have this chart. Why well, can't, what the fuck? Let's say we have this chart. We just swept these equal highs here, traded into a bearish imbalance. Looks like we're getting displacement out of it on a lower time frame. The internal draw on that lower time frame is that low, but the external draw is this low. So after respecting that higher time frame imbalance, we should go to the most recent internal low on the higher time frame. But the external draw on the lower time frame because it just depends on what time frame you're looking at if we're looking at the one hour chart this low this high in this range these are our external levels if we go to the daily chart it is nothing you can see we have nothing here so this is how i'm framing bias using fair value gaps other than that i'm out of here peace